I know you're there, Soprano. Well, come on, you're gonna do it, do it. Well, look at you. How you doing, Coach Molinaro? Me? I'm fine. What's that you got there? A bigger dingus than the one God gave you? <laughs> Don't ask. You know, you ought to show some respect. Why? Because I'm not some kid anymore. No. What did I tell you? Cleave yourself away from them bums you hang with, I said. Well, I'm in therapy now. That's a damn shame. You all listen to that pissmeyer, Arthur Buka. He was the worst of the bunch. I told you that. How do you a restaurant? It's doing great. Buko? Yeah. So what? The exception that proves the rule. Oh, you know everything, don't you? I suppose you blame it on your father when you're crying to that shrink of yours. No, I'm on my mother. <laughs> of course, even better. Well, my family was different than other kids' families. You know, I'll bet you got that uh, psychologist wrapped around your finger. Well, that's what you always told me I was good at, right? I also told you, most likely, You'd take the easy way out. It hasn't been easy. I see you on TV. Oh, yeah. Some show you put on. Five o'clock news. Then you realize I got nothing to apologize to you for. I am a leader. I got a house with a million two. Two kids. Wife. Do you? Do I what? Have a wife? Yeah, she's got the big house, because I'm successful. You and I know your little secret. You know, I, I only told you I wanted to be a coach because I like playing ball, but I was just shining you on because that's what I do with people. I told you many times, Anthony, you were special. You had smarts, personality, leadership potential, all the perquisites to lead young men onto the field of sport. And now look at the stress you live with. You're not prepared! <laughs> You'll never shut me up! So this pretty motherfucker comes over and tells me the custom seal got broke on the dock and I'm responsible. Can you fucking believe that? I mean, I seen the goddamn thing on the crane and the seal's already broke. Who got to it? The crew, probably. Some goddamn ordinary seaman. What was it? Vodka, I think. I ain't saying we didn't squeeze a case or two, but fuck it, Frank. The can was already open. <laughs> come on, Tommy. I didn't come down to the Union Hall today and I'm back in no bread truck. I swear, Frank, we grabbed a couple cases at the end. After every one of them sailor boys damn near raped it. A couple cases? Yeah, it's, uh, four. Yeah. <laughs> What's with the whistles? It's for us. Yeah? Yeah, they marked us the moment we stepped out of the car. <laughs> that's him. So that's what's face? How'd you get that name? You need a close-up? <laughs> Thomas Pacusa. Yeah? He needs to talk to you about something. What? You were the check at work in the Atlantic Light when it docked a couple of weeks back, right? If you say so. You remember that container that came off that day? With all the dead girls? No. You don't remember all them dead girls in a can? Come on, horse. I remember when you found them all in the stacks. I don't remember that they came off the Atlantic Light. All right, let's take a ride downtown. Clear this mess up. No. Get the fuck in the car. Am I locked up? Get in the damn car. You want me in that car, you need to lock me up. And if that's the way it's going to be, then I want to talk to my shop steward. And he could have an IBS lawyer go with me. You ain't going to 
play that country shit, right? I hate that country shit. Oh, not even Ray Charles can save that mess from me. No, sir. More high and mighty. You ain't gonna let that shit ride, are you? After what he done do? I truck his ass, it was me. He's built kind of solid, though. Man, Maui ain't all that. It's the clothes that give him size, is it? You think? Ah, it's just candy, Zig. You, you're a legend. A legend of the docks. Look, truck him with your best parts, and then just walk the fuck away. Ham and cheese sandwich and one of them frappuccino drinks. Oh, you would it? Uh, you can't off the leg iron. What? Oh, yeah. Frappuccino? What the fuck is that? You old pussy, Zig. Cold cocking. Frappuccino sipping cocksucker. Take him, Zig. What's the time? What do you know? The pussy, it's got some grapes on it. Banana, too. <laughs> you should see what your boy tried to pull today. Fucking Ziggy. What are you looking for? Can't find the fucking bills. End of the month, everything's hanging. We got anything for the Greeks? Wednesday. The Caspia or Patapsco. Nikki will go get the slips tomorrow. No wonder I couldn't find them. You was using them as bookmarks. Ooh. Let me ask you something important. You like fake tits? I can't decide. Thus far, I'm undecided on fake tits. So what's the thought? I don't know. But burlesque is finished. That I know. Yeah, television puts us in the shit house. How many times can you watch Milton Burrow dress as a woman? <laughs> you know, there's a lot of good shows. Did you see Marty? What do you want to do tonight, Marty? I don't know. What do you want to do? What the hell are you talking about, Louie? Marty, a uh, guy can't get a date. He's shy. He's a butcher. Do I care? Well, I thought you saw it. Ma, I'm an ugly man. I'm a butcher. Nobody wants me. Don't you want all the papers up 9%? Good, good. Where do you think you're going? Get a chair. Interesting, we're even getting some white business. Integration. College and white, many numbers together. Does the heart good. Look at this, Germantown good, Greek town good, even Pig Town has improved. All white areas and they all show a bump. Not to cause anxiety, but I hear the state is thinking of a lottery. Oh, that's old talk. Lukey Saperstein's been pushing that since the end of the war. Yeah, he's gathering steam in Annapolis. They're looking for new revenue. What they should do is legalize gambling. It's good for business. Vegas is going through the roof. Right, they've already got slots in Anne Arundel County. They should go all the way. Oh, for cock the government. Wouldn't they come off thinking that they could run a numbers racket? Lottery. It's unconstitutional. They're moving into private enterprise. They're taking money right out of the mouth of the entrepreneur. It's not right. It smacks of socialism. Government doesn't know from shit. They integrate the golf course in 51 and schools in 54. Where's the priorities? They integrated the cricket field in Clifton Park back in 50. Can't find a colored person who plays cricket. I beg to differ. That was part of the separate but equal ruling. The coloreds could only play cricket on Tuesdays. You can't find a colored person who wants to play cricket on Tuesday, Wednesday, or Kish mine took us. <laughs> For that matter, you can't find a white person who wants to play cricket. What, what is it with that game? It makes no sense. How many players do you need that? What, do they use a mallet? Isn't that the one with the hoops? That's croquet. No, croquet is something you eat. Everything is something you eat. No, I saw it here in the menu.